How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to walk you through a very simple but awesome modification that I did to my Toyota Tacoma for less than 20 bucks. And uh, so here's what it is. Basically under hood lighting. As you know the Tacoma doesn't come with any sort of light when you pop the hood. Not the biggest deal in the world. But if you've ever had to actually work on your truck, especially at night or say camping or on the trails, like you popped a fuse or you need to check your oil or something, then you know how hard it is to like see under there with all the shadows and all the areas where you can lose a 10 mil socket pretty easily. All that being said, I came up with what I think is a pretty unique solution and I wanna show it to you guys. So we're gonna take a look at number one, what it is, uh, I want to show it to you during the day and then I want to show it to you tonight and so that way you guys can really see and get the full effect. So without any ado, let's get to it. Before we begin, I just want to make sure that you guys know you can pretty much use any LED kit that you find online. And when I bought mine, I wasn't really sure this was going to look good or work properly, but I was really excited when I found out that it does. So let's take a close look at what I did and hopefully it helps inspire you. All right, so here we are. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. So the direct sun overhead is already gone, but you can see how much shadow this hood casts right into the engine bay. And uh, you just gotta, you don't have to fight too hard to imagine needing to pull over or be on a camping trip or you're on a trail and something broke and you need to get in here to fix something. It would actually be not that easy to be able to see things and of course to see where all your tools go and all that stuff. So this really can be an issue, um, if for nothing else, for efficiency sake. So um, I want to solve this. And as you can see with my lighting here, I think we have, but um, let's turn it on and see if it actually makes a difference. All right, so just to take a look at the lights themselves, I have installed them already. And as you can see, I've placed them on the inserts of the hood itself. So that way they form um, a nice tucked away light source and they are actually aimed at certain places under the hood that are the most dark um, based on where I stuck them. So it was easy to do that more in the evening time where you can see better where light was actually um, focused in the engine bay. But um, pretty neat and they're out of the way. Now I've also wired them into my s pod which you see here and that made it super simple with just two connections negative and positive terminals hey guys one quick note if you don't own either a switch pro or an s pod yeah it's a little bit more difficult to do this wiring but on a scale of one to 10, it's still like a one or two. So don't be afraid of this. I'm gonna include a couple of wiring diagrams on the screen here in a second. And I want you to use these as references and make sure to do your own research, but you can use these to create your own wiring for your application. So no matter what guys, you can do this. It's super easy and uh, you'll have lighting in no time. All right, back to the video. All right, so what this is, is basically a very simple diagram that anybody can make and it doesn't require anything else except a switch a fuse and connections to the battery and the light it's really that simple and this could be pretty effective but of course it's just a closed circuit just for the lighting system so the diagram you see on the screen now is actually the more recommended approach and the reason for that is because typically with something that draws more electricity you're going to want to have a uh, a better safer 
uh, circuit. And a relay, five point relay, which is pretty basic, uh, is a great way of doing it. Now this tutorial is not really about uh, becoming an electrical engineer, so we're not gonna go any deeper than this. But just know that um, the relays do give you more safety. And by the way, they also add more functionality because of the relay. You know, you can switch not only from low to high current, but you can also reverse polarity. Um, you can even turn on the circuit and off, which is what we're looking to do here. Um, and as you add uh, bigger and more um, impressive lighting to that same circuit, it's gonna be able to handle it versus the previous diagram. Let's see how these things look during the day. On, off, on, off. You can see the haze of them turning on and it might not be totally obvious how much it's illuminating but look here in the corner which is normally pretty dark look how bright it is even during the day all right now let's see what these leds can do when it's a little darker out here we go All right, guys, that is a wrap. I hope you guys have enjoyed this quick and easy modification to the truck. Um, I hope you guys are inspired to do something similar to your, your own vehicles. And remember, this is, a, this is something anybody can do. I mean, less than $20 gets the job done. I will include the link below where you guys can buy these particular LEDs, although you can buy your own style ones if you want. And to just make sure that you wire it properly if you don't have a Switch Pro or an S-Pod. All right, guys, that's all I got. Thanks very much for joining me to this point. And if you guys have any comments or questions, put them down below. And uh, I will catch you guys on the next one.